Hey, what is up guys? Marv here and welcome to my WWE Elimination Chamber 2018 predictions video. This is my first predictions video of 2018 and I wanted to do the Royal Rumble, but I never had time to do so. But yeah, here I am. Long time no see you guys, seriously. Um, I've been... I've been MIA recently from YouTube, and that's because of college. It just keeps me busy and stuff, you know. I never have time to do anything. I never have time for YouTube. Um, but here I am, Elimination Chamber, tonight. Better late than never, right? Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to the predictions. So first up, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus The Miz Taraj. It would be Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. Um, this match was made pretty much out of nowhere. Uh, it's the kickoff match, so... Um, I'm gonna guess, I'm just gonna go with Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, just for the lulls. Then up next is Raw Tag Team Champion Cesar and Sheamus going up against Titus Worldwide. Apollo Crews, well, formerly Apollo Crews, now known as Apollo, and Titus O'Neil. Um, I'm not sure if it's for the Raw Tag Team Championships, it doesn't really say, it just says Raw Tag Team Champion Cesar and Sheamus versus Titus Worldwide, and it doesn't say anything about it being for the Raw Tag Team Championships, so that makes me a bit skeptical about who's gonna win this match maybe Titus Worldwide is getting a bit of a push because you know the tag team division of Raw isn't really that they have good tag teams you just they just don't know what to do with them you know the Revival would have been a good shot to put up against Cesaro and Sheamus but um I guess Titus Worldwide works too my I'm gonna go with Cesaro and Sheamus yeah even though it's not for the Raw Tag Team Championships I'm gonna still go with Cesaro and Sheamus Walking Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, this one is a bit unpredictable in my opinion because Bray Wyatt won, beat Matt Hardy in Raw 25, and um, he could probably beat him now. So I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt. I want I want to say Matt Hardy because he just recently got the Walking character, but then again, Bray Wyatt is still needs his win more than anyone even though both Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt have been you know on the losing side lately I feel like Bray Wyatt will probably need this one more because of how much he lost in the past more a lot more than Matt Hardy so my prediction is Bray Wyatt and apparently Ronda Rousey's uh contract signing is going to take place at Elimination Chamber and this should be fun will she beat someone up uh, we'll see. We'll see if she beats someone up. Maybe, sh maybe, sh I don't know. I was going to say Charlotte Flair is going to come out, but then she's on SmackDown. This is a Raw pay-per-view. But, um, yeah, so this should be fun. I don't know exactly what to say about it, but let's see how fun this would be. Then up next, Asuka versus Nia Jax. Um, we all know who's going to win. Asuka is going to beat Nia Jax. Uh, she's obviously ready to face whoever's the women's champion at WrestleMania. I hope she goes up against the Raw Women's Champion because, you know, for SmackDown, we're like Charlotte versus Becky Lynch, but that's something else we're going to discuss in a different video. Um, but yeah, Asuka versus Nia Jax is kind of obvious. Asuka's going to win the match. Uh, yeah, really nothing else to say about it. Then we have the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber match. It's Ale Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss defending her title against Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Mickey James, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. There we go. That's all I remember the names. Um, yeah, it's going to be the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber match for the Raw Women's Championship. So Alexa Bliss's, chance Alexa Bliss's chances of winning the match, leaving as champion. And first of all, when was the last time she defended her championship on the TV, on TV or pay-per-view? It's been a minute. This is Alexa was defending the title. Um, but if I had to choose somebody to win this match, I'm going to guess Sasha Banks. I want Sasha Banks to win, but I don't know if she's going to win. That, like, they're, they're so, they're so, like, invested in Alexa Bliss. It's not even funny. And <clears throat> I don't even know what to do anymore. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go with Sasha Banks. I'm going with Sasha Banks. No. No, 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 no. You know what? Scratch that. I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss because we're getting Sasha Banks versus Bayley at WrestleMania. I don't care. We're going to get that match. We're going to get Alexa Bliss versus Asuka at WrestleMania. So, final prediction, Alexa Bliss will win this match. And then finally, it is the first ever seven-man elimination chamber match. One of the most, probably one of the most unpredictable chamber matches in in a while, really. Um, so, seven combatants. John Cena, Braun Strowman, Elias, Finn Balor, The Miz, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. Um, let me just check, make sure I didn't mention anyone twice. I didn't. Nice. I remembered everything. I'm, I'm great. And, um, yeah. 
So the first ever seven man elimination chamber match, not for any championship, but for the chance to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. So this is a big match, and honestly, it's just I don't know what to do. I don't know who to pick. I, I mean, I'm looking at all these. Okay, I'm 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 just, I'm just gonna do process of elimination. Let's scratch out the Miz because he's the Intercontinental Champion. He should be worried about that title, and Finn Balor. He's a good content. He should a good shot to win, but I'm gonna cross him out too because he's currently in the feud with the Miz, so we're most likely gonna get the Miz versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania. Elias, I would, I want to scratch him out, but I don't really have a proper reason. <clears throat> Mainly because <clears throat> he's the guy that's least like, in my opinion, the least likely to win this match. Besides the Miz and um, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, John Cena, and Braun Strowman. Those are the four main guys. That I think have the best chances of winning. I'm gonna cross out John Cena because I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a reason for John Cena, but um, maybe he'll go against Elias at WrestleMania. So, so that leaves Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins, I'm gonna cross him out because he was he had an exceptional performance at Monday Night Raw in the Gauntlet match. He was absolutely incredible. But I don't see him winning this match over Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. I'm sorry. It's just the way WWE works. As much as I would like to see him win, I'm going to have to scratch him out. That leaves Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman. Roman Reigns. He was rumored since last year that he's going to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. Braun Strowman. I, first of all, for when it comes to rumors, I never believe any rumors until it's true. But the way people have been saying it make. It influences my mind, which is not a good thing. I should have my own mind. I should have my own thoughts, my own opinions. And, yeah, Braun Strowman, he said he's not finished with Brock Lesnar. He even said at the Royal Rumble. So, my final prediction, Braun Strowman is going to win this match. It's a bold prediction. I'm choosing him over Roman Reigns. So, let's see how this goes. And, yeah, that's it for the Elimination Chamber. Uh, unless any matches get added, I doubt it because this is the day of the Elimination Chamber. It starts in a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Any support, such as liking, sharing, subscribing is greatly appreciated. What do you guys think is going to happen in the Elimination Chamber? Tell me in the comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, social media links in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.